Hi, and welcome to Tony's Melt Shop. This became a fixture of our uh, decades dances that we've been doing the last number of years here at the camp. And we wanted to find some creative way to provide an evening snack for all our campers and staff. So I came up with the idea of why not do Tony's Malt Shop with root beer floats and slushies. But the favorite has become the, the malt, either the chocolate malt or the vanilla malt. I have to be more partial to the chocolate malt. Um, and so that's what I'm going to demonstrate for you today. But first, it's important to lay the groundwork. Um, so what we've already done is I've already disinfected um, the table. Um, I've washed my hands and everything. Uh, sanitizing your hands is an important thing, especially in this day and age as we know. And what does the CDC tell us? 20 seconds to wash your hands. Hot water and soap for 20 seconds. And the way to do it is sing happy birthday twice or and that's how we get 20 seconds in, washing our hands nice and safe and sanitized. Now because um, this is something that you're going to consume right after making, there's no cooking involved, I can't touch with my hands the ingredients you're going to eat. So I have to put on um, gloves. Now, mind you, I've already washed my hands and then put gloves on. You don't simply just take dirty hands and shove them into gloves um, because that is not the consistent way according to the health department. Instead, you wash your hands, then you put on your gloves, and being careful of where you touch the gloves so that you're not making contact with surfaces that are going to touch the food. Plus, I've already put on an apron and a hat to cover my head to prevent hair from going into the food that we're preparing. So, now what I'm going to do is show you first how we make the malts here uh, for the mass quantities. So, this is a little bit of a scaled down version, um, but what we typically do is we pull out um, large pails of ice cream. In this case, because I'm doing chocolate, I'm doing all chocolate with uh, chocolate ice cream, chocolate milk, and chocolate syrup. Uh, you do not have to use uh, even chocolate milk if you want to do a chocolate malt. You can use chocolate ice cream and chocolate syrup with regular white milk and that'll serve the purpose fine. Uh, the one thing you want to do though is you want to get your ice cream out a little bit in advance to get it a little bit soft because otherwise it's going to take a while to get it out of your container and into um, the mixing bowl that you're going to use. In this case we're going to use a very large uh, bowl to mix. The thing that we're going to use is a number of possible tools, most of which you might not have at your home, not most of which, but one particular one that's the main ingredient for us to use to mix is called an immersion blender. Um, and I'm going to ask my assistant, Father Chris, to step into the screen here and keep scooping out ice cream here for us. So while Father Chris keeps working on getting that ice cream out, we have immersion blenders. Um, they come in different sizes. Uh, this isn't even a household size. Um, this is a commercial one, but they make them even smaller than this. I have a smaller one at my house, and you can get smaller ones too. But we use this actually very large one here, and we use it to make our malts. We use it to blend our slushies. We use it to um, mix hummus and all kinds of other things. So we're going to use that. After I'm done showing you how we do the commercial way, I'm going to show you how you can do things with the things you'll have around your house to make it much smaller versions. So we're going to work together as a team because this can be rather tricky at times to get this ice cream out if it hasn't softened up enough. So we've put uh, a fair
fair portion of that ice cream in here. Normally, when we do it, I put at least two of those into a container um, and at least two gallons um, of milk to go with that ice cream. Like I said, you can use um, vanilla ice cream and vanilla milk if you want, or not vanilla milk, but just regular white milk. Or you can use chocolate ice cream with uh, white milk and then just add some syrup in. Because I like things nice and chocolatey, I'm even going to add in a little extra chocolate syrup into the mix. Um, so this becomes the triple, triple chocolate malt. And you can add a lot more depending on your flavor. So now, from here, we use the immersion blender. Now, it's very important to understand with an immersion blender, this can be a highly dangerous instrument because you can see there are blades down here that will spin um, and that will help chop up and blend the, the ice cream mixture. Uh, but the nice thing is the way this is constructed is it requires two hands to operate so that you don't have your hand down there and accidentally turn it on. But still, you never want to take any chances. So we'll start with it by putting it actually into the, to the mixture. Um, and then to turn it on, there are different settings here. Um, I have it up pretty much to the max. Um, and to turn it on, and so now it's going to create a whipping motion. And what you do is you kind of go up and down on the ice cream. And that is go up and down. You don't pull it totally out because it'll splash everywhere. It has happened to me in the past when, when myself or others have sent ice cream and milk flying all over the place. So basically, you're going up and down over top of the ice cream to get the right consistency you want. Some like it very thick, some like it thinner, some like it chunky, uh, and you find the right texture for yourself. So I kind of like mine a little bit on the thick side, um, so I'm going to leave it there and what I'm going to do is show you how we tend to scoop it out. We use a little ice scooper, but you can use anything that's going to scoop it out or you can even use another cup if you want for that matter. But our scooper works perfectly to then just pour it right into the cup. And just like that you have a wonderful uh, chocolate malt. And I'll give it a test just to make sure it meets with my seal of approval. Nice and chocolatey, just the right consistency, perfect to the taste. I don't know that you want to touch it other than your tongue, perfect to that texture as well. So that's how we make them in Tony's Malt Shop in a large quantity. Now I'd like to show you how you can do it at home with the things you might have at home. So simply put, same ingredients. Um, I'm going to use a bowl to put it in just so you can see it better. Um, you could put it in a blender if you wanted to or any other, any other kind of large container. But basically you're going to scoop out some ice cream and you decide the quantity you want. I'm going to do just a little more than normal just so that you can see it a little bit better. But I just put in right there with three scoops of ice cream. Um, again, you can use white milk or chocolate milk depending on your liking, depending on what you have available. Um, you're going to put some milk in there, not too much to start with, because you can always add more. And then if you want to add, make it a triple chocolate, add a little bit of Hershey's syrup over it. And now here's where you decide what you're going to use to mix it with. I think probably the, one of the best household tools, if you have it, is like a potato masher. Something like this that will help to start blend in the ice cream. Uh, the other thing too is if you leave the ice cream out for a little bit, it helps soften it up and get it to the consistency you want. So that, that's one way to kind of get it started. Another tool that you can use, set this out of our way, another tool you could use is a whisk and to help blend it. Or if you don't have a whisk available, you can even use a spoon. Um, now this one's not going to be as thick as I wanted, but you can always add more ice cream to it to thicken it up if you like. Um, 
You can take the chunks out if you want by whisking it a little bit more briskly, however you want. And you get a nice blend there. And then simply use a scoop or you can just pour, depending on how good your pouring skills are. I don't think mine are going to be too good today, but I'm going to try it anyway. And there it is, almost the same consistency as I made before, but nice and easy, you have one at home. Delicious every time. So thank you for joining us at Tony's Malt Shop. This is how we make our malts. I'm sure you can do it at home. Simple ingredients, some ice cream, some milk, some chocolate syrup if you want, or any other kind of um, flavoring that you want to add to it. And enjoy yourself on a nice hot summer day 